Welcome back to Healing with Love, another pick a card reading. So this is what do you need to heal right now? What is What chakra are you working with? What needs healing? So let us get into this. We've got pile one right here with this beautiful amethyst. And down here we've got beautiful lepidolite. Take your pick. Here we go. And we're moving on to, we're starting with pile number one. Okay, pile one. Here we go. We've got... Chrysoprase, beautiful, number 20, no, actually 10, 10 and 10, so you might be seeing 10, 10, and Mother Mary, love and peace, let go of the need to be right, choose peace, mother healing is possible at this time, so definitely seeing some uh, mother healing going on, mother connection healing, so we are going to begin, actually, I want to start with Chrysoprase first, so very beautiful crystal, Okay, Chrysoprase, so I'm seeing somebody, this is heart chakra to me, so somebody's healing some mother wounds, whether they're grieving a mother, or they had a difficult relationship with their mother, or they have a difficult relationship with their child, but it's a mother connection, and I'm seeing this forgiveness happening, this beautiful heart connection, right, we've got the beautiful flower of life, it almost gives you a different perspective about your mother's journey, and just you know what took it took them to get to where they are or where they were and which in turn got you to you where you are right because without them there would be no you so there's just a sense of gratitude that i'm feeling uh chrysoprase is also a great crystal uh to connect with animals so if you have a very strong connection with animals i'm seeing, feeling a very empathetic soul a very compassionate soul uh moved by um you know, charity, like moved by, you know, animals, helping animals, helping people. Um, things make you cry easily. So it says fearless movement. We've got 10 and 10 here. So 10 represents the phoenix rising from the ashes. If you're familiar with numerology, um, it's, it's the end, right? The ending and a new beginning, but it's an ascended beginning. It is like the phoenix, right? It is a spiritual rebirth. So I'm seeing a spiritual rebirth, a spiritual connection, the rebirth of a relationship or a connection with somebody. So let's talk about uh, chrysoprase. The presence of chrysoprase for you signals the opening of a new and creative pathway that will be filtered through the heart under the guidance of your highest parts. Chrysoprase helps us recognize our infinite nature. If we embrace unconditional love, and being of the green frequency guides us in allowing that to come into the physical world. Chrysoprase is very much about following your heart. Practice that often creates the most beautiful things in the world. But in order for it to do this, personal power and your individual spirit must be taken along on your journey. These are the yellow and white energies of Chrysoprase and her most beautiful gifts for you. It seems you're ready for action. Link the crown heart and solar plexus chakra together each morning with light and fearlessly manifest the waves of movement that come to create. Please note also the chrysoprase is an action stone. Do it, do it, do it, and do it. And whatever it is, it won't go away until you do it. So um, the affirmation is I fearlessly take action. I am love, wisdom, and power. Um, it's a great crystal for children. If you have children that are having nightmares, uh, it's a great crystal to put by their bed to help them with nightmares because it's very soothing. Um, it's a very soothing crystal. Um, the animal totem is the deer. So the key words are fearless movement, action. So moving without fear, not being afraid to move forward, right? Taking action. Um, it's understanding your spiritual purpose, understanding of life cycles, forgiveness, acceptance, uncharted waters in life, um, dual cool and master lanto. So I want to just take a minute to read the deer for you guys. So the deer talks about if you've been involved in some aggressive negative circumstances and need to seek out safe, nurturing situations and people. More than ever, you need to trust your gut instinct. You're poised for an enticing adventure, one that will take you down many different paths and lead to many important insights. Be gentle with yourself and others. And there's different, different you know, types of deer. There's stag, um, which talks about releasing things that no longer fit you. Um, elk is about seeking out company and friendship of others. Um, the mule deer talks about, um, you're in a phase of your life where you're wandering, wandering about without a clear sense of direction. So go ahead and enjoy it. So don't feel guilty about feeling directionless right now. The caribou, um, it's a time to dissolve, to resolve, <laughs> to act with resolve. So make a decision, stick with it and take the appropriate action. So very powerful. 
message with this. So definitely see heart chakra for giving uh, the heart chakra opening up. So you might be feeling a lot of anxiety in the chest area or heart beating really fast. Moving that energy, if you start feeling that anxiety, I highly recommend going outside into nature, jumping up and down barefoot and letting Mother Nature just take that energy from you and uh, replacing it with something better. Okay, moving on to Mother Mary. Such a beautiful card. Look at this flower of life reminding us that we are all connected. The beautiful roses representing um, the Holy Grail right? The Knights Templar. Um, in the Knights Templar, they protected the Holy Grail. And what was the Holy Grail? It was the rose. And the rose signified esoteric knowledge and wisdom, magic, right? So let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Um, you know, Mother Mary is very compassionate. It represents compassion. She also represents miracles, miracles coming. So if there's a miracle that you've been um, wishing or hoping or, you know, waiting for it's coming it is here let go of the need to be right so mother mary the mother of jesus is one of the best loved saints masters and guides of the world so it is time to let go of conflict or the need to be right the more you fight for the point you want to prove the unhappier you will be pointing out the mistakes or mishaps of others just blocks the road to love in your own life mary the divine mother of acceptance acceptance is with you now encouraging you to forgive Forgiveness is not about letting anyone get away with their bad choices, but about choosing to create your own happiness. Mother Mary also brings healing to you and your mother. If you miss her or are out of contact with her or have an old trauma that needs healing now, know that Mary's miraculous light is here now to wash away the darkness. Such a beautiful, powerful uh, message. Both of these cards go together like peas and carrots, right? This beautiful heart chakra, forgiveness, healing, a lot of heart healing happening right now for you guys. So very beautiful message. And remember, you guys are all connected, all one. Um, I love that she's cloaked in this beautiful um, blue cloak representing her ability to communicate from her heart space, her ability to say what's on her heart um, and not having to be right. Like, you know, when we ascend in frequency and, you know, we start seeing through the lies of others, it's not our responsibility to call people out on their lies. Um, that's got nothing to do with us. We just acknowledge it within ourselves that we know the truth. And um, them lying or not speaking truthfully is their karma and not yours. So, yeah, forgiveness is coming. Thank you so much for watching. And now let's move on to pile number two. And if this resonated, please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thanks.